Well, hey folks, it's your old pal, King Krampus. Welcome back to Total Party Skills. I love taking people's virginity. Uh, their, their Dungeons and Dragons virginity, that is. Numerous times I've had the pleasure of being, you know, the first dungeon master for, uh, you know, players who are new to the game. And uh, it's, I like it because they don't come in with a lot of baggage. You know, you, you can kind of uh, train them, shape them to, to play the way you want to play, to to instill in them the kind of gaming values I want to instill in them and not have to hear too much about like, well, my old DM in my last campaign would do things this way kind of kind of shit. However, in recent times, since moving out here to the boondocks, uh, I've been having to make do with uh, older gamers. Uh, my wife, her brother, and our roommate, who are all in their mid-40s. And my oh my, what a act of hurting cats uh, they can be sometimes. Now, uh, nothing I would say that it's worthy of like a D&D &D horror story. Uh, I just find uh, it interesting how in some ways they've been somewhat shaped by video games uh, over the decades so that uh, they... they they, they're often caught flat-footed when they're, they're not handed a bunch of obvious options or dialogue prompts. Uh, a, a tendency to freeze in the middle of combat and just basically just make the same attack action over and over again. A resistance to wanting to, you know, uh, study any of the materials, uh, be familiarize themselves with the things their characters do. These are, of course, you know, individuals and shouldn't necessarily reflect on everyone out there, but uh, I don't know. I, I'm finding it uh, more of a difficult process uh, than uh, than teaching uh, gamers who are new to the, you know, TTRPG hobby who are in their early 20s or late teens. Um, like, my wife has a habit of, like, getting angry at weird things like the dice mechanics or the, the idea of randomized tables and stuff like that. Uh... Uh, her brother, it, like, really doesn't seem to take it very seriously. Uh, you know, it, it's just a childish activity kind of a thing. And then finds these moments where, like, he seems to, like, have wanted more out of it. And it's one of those things where it's like, well, I mean, yeah, but it's kind of dependent on you to fill in those blanks so you have a more fulfilling, grounded experience if that's what you're looking for. Uh... Really, actually, our roommate probably does the best because he has some experience with, you know, Dungeons and Dragons and role-playing games, but, you know, going all the way back to his high school days, and he didn't stick with the hobby by any stretch. Uh, and I just, I don't know, I just, I find it an interesting observation. Uh, obviously, like, you know, more data points would be needed to draw a specific conclusion about whether or not older people uh, are harder to teach how to play role-playing games uh, than younger people, but, um, you know, I, I can see that there might be a trend line there. So if you have any other similar experiences, be sure to let me know, and stay waspinated.